Welcome to Cross Sports Network PAFL Tier 1 Rankings. We start off with the number 9 team, Indianapolis Tornadoes. The Net Tornadoes will sit at the bottom of the list since they did decide to close up shop a few weeks ago into the season. Number 8, the Pittsburgh Rangers. The Rangers coming off a lopsided loss to the Spartans of Tier 2. The Rangers are trying to find any way they can to get their first win of the regular season. Number 7, Lorraine County Nightmare. The Nightmare, off of a win against the Cleveland Patriots over the weekend, are still searching for their first Tier 1 win. Number 6, Southern Michigan Timberwolves. The Timberwolves are upset over the weekend by the Michigan Hurricane. They have had a tough road as they've played some of the top teams in Tier 1. They are looking to get everything together as the playoffs approach. Number 5, NEO Predators. The Predators come off a close loss to the Ohio Raiders and bounce back with a 32-0 win versus the Pittsburgh Saints. Number 4, the Ohio Raiders. After coming off a 7-6 win over the Predators, they took on the NEO Silverbacks and came away with a 17-0 victory. Number 3, the WPA Wildcats. The Wildcats beat the Cleveland Rams 13-0. They did lose one controversial game against the NEO Predators a couple weeks back. They seem to be letting some teams that they would normally beat down hang around a little longer than they would like. Let's see if they can get everything together as the playoffs approach. Number two, Detroit Seminoles. The Seminoles come off a close win versus their rival in T2, the Highland Park Polar Bears. The Seminoles have had one loss this season against the Columbus Fire. The Seminoles are my favorite to make it to the championship game where they will face off against the Columbus Fire. Let's see if they're able to get any kind of revenge as they've already played in the preseason and the regular season. And number one team, without a doubt, is the Columbus Fire. The Fire are undefeated, only given up a few points this season. They took a forfeit win this past weekend and also beat the Butler County Broncos. 